Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Hi again everyone. I hope you guys are doing well. In this video, I want to share with you guys five tips that will change your mascara game. Transform your lashes from this to this. So first and foremost, to level up your lash game, you need a mascara. And trust me, you don't need a high-end expensive mascara to get the lashes of your dreams. Any mascara that doesn't smudge, that makes your eyelashes stay curled long is good enough for you. No matter if it's like high-end or drugstore, it doesn't matter. As long as it works, it's good. Okay, so I am so happy to show you guys today a very, very affordable mascara from a brand that is famous for its mascara and it's a drugstore brand. It's the Essence Lash Gold Mascara. As you can see, there are three variations. The pink one is the Lash Gold Mascara for long and curl. And then this black one is for volume and curl. While this blue one is actually a waterproof mascara remover. I'm just gonna point out here why Essence Mascara should be your choice as well. First of all, it's super affordable. Secondly, it's available at many parts of the world. And also, Essence is cruelty free. Isn't that amazing? Let me show you guys up close and personal about these mascaras that I have here. This could be tip number one, but not really. But you know, it's a start. First of all, you would want to know what your lash concerns are. For me, I want something that lengthens my lashes. So I would go for the long and curl mascara here, which is the pink one. But you, if you think your concern is you want a mascara that adds volume to your lashes, you can always opt for this black one, which adds volume and curl. Both of these have curled curling brush, which helps you to coat and curl your lashes with minimal strokes. They are also waterproof, and it claims that this does not clump or smudge as well. Of course, it's also ophthalmologically tested, so it's definitely safe for you to use on your eyes. Whether you want mascara to make your eyelashes longer or more voluminous, what's best with these Lash Goals mascara is that they don't smudge and the formula is made to suit our humid weather to make sure that your lashes stay curled in shape for a longer period of time. And then we have this blue tube, which is the waterproof mascara remover. It's actually oil-based, so it should be able to remove even the most stubborn waterproof mascara. And most importantly, it does not sting your eye. I'll explain more about this a little bit later, okay? Now let's get into those five tips that will level up your mascara game. The first tip is use an eyelash curler before you put on mascara. This is an often forgotten step that people don't usually do in their makeup routine, but it actually makes all the difference in the world when you curl your lashes first before putting on mascara. This is how you can get the prettiest curl when you use your eyelash curler. First, get the eyelash curler closest to your lash bit and then squeeze it tight. And then release, go a little bit towards the end of your lashes and squeeze again. You will get a more natural curl than like a boxy kind of curl. The second tip is remember to wiggle your mascara as you coat your lashes. So what I usually do is I will take the wand to the roots of my lashes, wiggle it a little bit and then roll the wand up to the ends of my lashes. From the bottom to the top, wiggle and roll, wiggle and roll. You will definitely get to coat every single strand of lash without making them clump together. The third tip is when you put on mascara and guess what? It smudges. It happens to the best of us, even myself. So what do you do when that happens? All you have to do is wait and let it dry first. Once it's dry, take a cotton bud and carefully remove the dried up smudged mascara. After you're done doing that, use the other side of the cotton bud tip and just wipe off any um, excess makeup remover that's still on your eyelids or underneath your eye. That way you will get a nice clean mascara application every single time. Now the fourth tip. 
don't pump your mascara when you do that you are actually pushing more air into the mascara tube and that will make your mascara dry up much faster so what do you do when you've applied your mascara and your mascara one is a little bit dry you want a little bit more product on your wand just put the wand in twist a little and take it out that should do the trick now the fifth step is not really about application but it's about removal removing waterproof mascara can be a pain in the butt but it doesn't have to be what we usually do when we try to remove eye makeup or mascara is we take a cotton pad and we soak it in makeup remover you dab it on your eyes and then you just wipe it off like that although you can also do it this way it's not always effective because when you do that you're not actually getting all of the mascara that is stuck on your lashes logically when you apply your mascara you're actually coating the lower side of your lashes you get what i mean so when you remove your makeup like this you're actually just removing it from the top the mascara can't be completely gone and you usually end up with some sort of panda eye at the end of the day with the essence lash goals waterproof mascara remover all you have to do is apply a generous amount of this remover onto your lashes just apply this as you would put on mascara and once you've done that just wait for 90 seconds after 90 seconds just take a cotton pad and wipe away the mascara and you'll have a set of clean lashes again and that's it those are the five tips that i want to share with you guys that will totally change your mascara game to the next level you can tell the difference that it can make to your lashes by simply putting on this mascara with the tips that i have shared with you guys if you're interested in the essence mascara and mascara remover that i used today in this video i will put all the necessary links in the description box below but i will also let you know that essence is available at more than 300 watson stores nationwide so don't worry you should be able to get one for yourself i hope these tips have been helpful for you guys if you've enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already what are you doing as always click on the subscribe button below i love you guys so much and i will see you guys on my next video inshallah bye bye